Hello everyone and welcome back to A Swift Look. I am Zoe and today we are going to be recapping Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey's big weekend in New York City. And boy, were they out and about seen more this weekend than we've seen of them in a very, very long time, honestly. Um, we recapped last week Taylor Swift attending the very first NFL game of the season, the very first Chiefs game of the season, but there's still a lot more to discuss. And I think I even said on that episode that I sort of anticipated Taylor and Travis spending the weekend in Kansas City, low key. Um, though I probably should have assumed that because they were gonna have the full weekend off that they would jet off to New York City where they're just able to do a lot more stuff. They're able to go out, they're able to have more fun, to be honest, because if they're stuck in Kansas City, there's not much that they can do without being completely bombarded 24 seven, though, to be honest, they're still bombarded 24 seven, no matter where they go. But let's take it back to Thursday, because when I recorded the episode on Friday, we didn't know that Taylor and Travis and a bunch of the Chiefs uh, players and families and whatnot went to this place called Prime Social in Kansas City following the Chiefs game Thursday night. Now, you might remember that Prime Social is where Taylor and Travis went after Taylor um, attended her very first Chiefs game almost a year ago now um, with Travis's teammates and family and friends and whatnot. So it's sort of a reunion, I guess, of, of sorts, or like an anniversary celebration of that very first game. Um, and I saw some reporting that said that Taylor had fun, to say the least. Um, she was enjoying herself at the party. And then Friday morning or Friday afternoon, the pair jetted off to New York City to spend the weekend in the Big Apple. We saw pictures and footage of Taylor and Travis Friday night heading to dinner at some pizza place. There were tons of paparazzi there as to be expected. Um, they both looked fantastic. Taylor just has this like glow about her and this look uh, to her these days that is just, it's pretty unmatched. She's like, I can tell she's feeling herself right right now as as she sh should but um yeah she's definitely like her outfits and everything um i feel like she's i don't know not that this is like a new era for her potentially though it honestly could be but um yeah she definitely just is coming into herself um so went to dinner friday night looked fantastic and then saturday we saw Again, paparazzi images, videos of them going to Electric Lady Studios, which you may recall is where Taylor Swift records many, many of her albums in New York City. Um, and she looked beautiful. She was in this like uh, cream floral printed dress, hair back in a bun. Travis looked like he walked off the set of Grease. His hair was slicked back. Um, and I was like, hmm, why are they dressed like that to go to the studio? Well, it turns out that there was a wedding that was there um, in the studio or at the studio. I think, I assume it's like a studio, but then there's probably other space there as well. So they were attending a wedding. There was also pictures and videos of Lana Del Rey at this wedding. So um, definitely there was other celebrities, people attending. So it seemed like they had a great time then. And then Sunday, cut to Sunday, Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey head to the US Open. The men's final was on Sunday afternoon. And you know, Taylor Swift, I mean, she obviously has had to get into football because of Travis, but now she's just like having to get into tons of sports, though I I could see her having been a tennis fan prior to dating Travis, or I could see her wanting to go. Cause also like going to a tennis match is also like going to a big event like there's fun drinks it's just like a different environment than going to a football game or a basketball game or something um they looked fantastic i was obsessed with taylor swift's dress like that red gingham print so so cute they were joined by patrick mahomes and Brittany mahomes um actually Brittany mahomes and travis kelsey were like in matching gucci sets which i thought was funny there were so many celebrities at this at this match, like I can't even think of, I saw like Andrew Garfield was there, Usher was there, Justin Thoreau. Um, I can't even think about all the other people. I mean, there was so many celebrities. It was like a who's who. Um, 
a lot of athletes were in attendance. A lot of athletes also went or people went uh, on Saturday for the women's final. Um, and it was just very cute. There was such great footage and videos, pictures of Taylor and Travis like being cuddly and f affectionate, celebrating, cheering on because it was an American playing in the final um, who's also whose name is also Taylor. Um, it was a really cute video of them singing together to what, the song that was playing like in the stadium. I don't know, it was just, I've always thought they were very much in love, but just seeing them in this kind of environment, it was like, wow, they are really in love. And it's it's funny because we, we often only see, like in a sporting event, we only see Taylor, like it's Taylor watching Travis. Or, or when it's Taylor on stage, it's Travis watching Taylor. But this is kind of the first time we've seen them at a sporting event together. Um, so it's just a new and unique experience, I suppose. Oh, and also Taylor was with a couple members of Haim, the band Haim, her friends too. They, they were in attendance in their box, um, which seemed like fun. Matthew McConaughey was in it was in attendance as well. Um, so yeah, so they and, oh, and, and then for and Sunday evening, they all went out to dinner, Travis, Taylor, Patrick, Brittany, uh, to sort of cap off their weekend. So it's just been a busy um, social weekend for Taylor and Travis. And it's fun that they get to have those kinds of weekends together because especially during the football season, um, and they are really only able to have those kinds of weekends when the Chiefs play on Thursday. So um, I don't know when the Chiefs play on Thursday again, but I'm sure they're looking forward to that because they could have another fun weekend together wherever they want to go. Um, so yeah, so the VMAs are this week. I know a lot of people suggested that Taylor would probably be attending the VMAs. I definitely wouldn't be surprised if she was there. Um, Travis obviously won't be able to be there because he has to be back in Kansas City, I believe today or tomorrow for practice. So he's got to get back into game mode. Um, but then I assume Taylor will be back in Kansas City on Sunday for the Chiefs Bengals game. Um, and yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'll be curious to see how much time she spends in Kansas City. Um, and because when it's more of a, like a traditional Sunday game situation schedule, it's obviously Travis can't really travel. Um, so Taylor basically just has to either, if she wants to see him, like she has to come to Kansas City. So I wonder how much time she'll actually end up spending in Kansas City um, during the season. And and then how much time she spends elsewhere. Um, but she only has like a month left before she gets back on tour. So like time is ticking, it's going by fast, but it was fun to see all of their adventures this weekend. It was fun to see them out and about. And um, it's just, yeah, it's just crazy. I still can't believe, I mean, it's been almost a year since they like went fully public with their relationship. And it still blows my mind that, that they're still together, um, which is fun. But anyway, I'm sure that we'll recap if Taylor does attend the VMAs. I'm sure we'll recap that later this week. And of course, we'll recap her attending the Bengals game this weekend. So if you aren't subscribed to the channel to follow and cover all Taylor Swift news, what are you waiting for? Make sure to subscribe to us on social media and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.